As states across the country are pushing legislation to ban books with diverse viewpoints, the issue is hitting close to home, and that's why libraries here in New York City are commemorating the annual Banned Books Week with lectures and events. CBS 2's Al McLogan covers Queens and takes us tonight to Queensboro Hill. Growing up in small town Virginia, Ellen McInnes was awestruck by a story of a princess and a dragon. Yeah, it was like. Most compelling were its themes questioning gender roles. I am transgender as a librarian, and that is not something I saw reflected growing up. McKinnis wants to make sure people of all ages get to find themselves in the pages of books. That's why they and the Queen's Public Library are hosting programming to honor Banned Books Week. It's raising awareness of the push to remove certain titles from library and school shelves, mainly books featuring queer and non-white perspectives. Librarian Sarah Reed. People can check those books out. They can adopt a book and they can also write letters to their representatives. Librarians say it comes at a critical time. The number of titles challenged jumped from just over 200 in the year 2020 to nearly 2,000 in 2021. And early data show this year could reach new highs. Attempts to ban books are happening here in New York and across the country. Readers say it's censorship that threatens democracy. Reading is our choice. It's our freedom. It's our intellectual freedom. It's a shame that they're trying to stop us from telling the truth about what really happens to people that look like me. I think that when you quiet those books, you're quieting those voices. The reason behind the bans? Material is deemed suggestive, provocative, or uncomfortable to read. Mayor Eric Adams says that's the point. You do not grow without discomfort. Library leaders say some of history's greatest literature is under attack. Catcher in the Rye, the Song of Solomon, Native son. No official bans have reached New York City, and librarians here intend to keep it that way. In a space known for quiet, diverse viewpoints resound. Everyone deserves to be heard at the library. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. Elle is our community reporter covering Queens. If you have a story idea for her, you can email queenstip at cbs.com.